So hello guys, it is Nyx from Nyx Studios. Today I do not have Nyx, <laughs> the woman virgin, um, currently up here with me because I am doing a unboxing, but in a different place. Um, this one's a little bit of a smaller place, but uh, I'm not currently able to film in my normal filming space as, as of right now. So we're gonna have to make do with this. Um, yeah, so let's get into the video. So as a little sneak peek, here are the two boxes that we've been opening. For the first package, um, it was from a flea market. They're all pretty dirty, so they do have to be cleaned before they're sold or added to my collection. So let's get into it. So to start, these are the five McDonald's pets that did come inside the box. The first one is this um, St. Bernard, I think it is. Um, it's off the base, so it was cut off the base along with this little bunny these three are on the bases i have a double of this now and then um this separate pair that they are next are the chinchillas who i absolutely adore i have this one in a much cleaner condition i will hopefully be trying to clean this one up a little bit there are a few spots in her paint area that i cannot get but hope there's not a big deal this one will be added to my collection i have to clean it up and luckily most of it is really in the white part that i can clean up easily the next one will be sold this guy, super cute, he's pretty clean. And these are the two dragonflies that I got in this really great find. Here are the owls. Banana bears. Here are the bunnies. It's a really cute brown one, great condition, a little cutie pink. I do not know why someone would do this to this poor cat, but oh my god, it has a little mohawk. And for some honorable mentions on my favorite list, I decided to show these three. So it's this armadillo. He's a postcard pet and he's so cute. Next is this really adorable bunny with a little bit of gloss in its eyes. It's a sparkle pet and I absolutely love the Angora mold. Bunny mold, it's just so cute. And last but not least, um, of the non animal or cat and dog molds, um, would be this penguin, who I absolutely adore. He's so cute. And some cool cats that we did get in this before we go into the more main five are these three. Two crouching kittens, I think, or um, kin cat or something like that. I'm not sure. I think it's a crouching kitten, though. And the long hair cat. Love these guys. And if you didn't know, I'm a bit horse obsessed. I do own one and I collect one or collect briars too. So I do 
really love the horse mold on LPS and this one is no exception because I absolutely adore the colors on this one. The purple eyes and the black coat and beautiful like purplish mane color is just so good. Now onto the main fives. We did get a few surprisingly so um, I'm not sure if many count this pet as a main five. I personally do count it as a main five I guess because it just seems like it would be, um, but if you don't, that's no big deal. I did get two of these. I don't have one, so I probably will be keeping this one and still the other. And then, and then, oh, no, no. So, yeah, I, I was hoping this one would be a little bit nicer, but it's magnets falling off from someone chewing it, and its head just doesn't really bobble anymore. It's just completely ruined, so she'll be at a discounted price, sadly, um, for customizing. This guy, I do already have this, oh my god, surprisingly, he's actually in amazing condition, um, on parts where you can just really clean it up easily, like, not that part, but right in the back of his head, you can easily clean it up, and he's just, he's just so cute. I already have this one, so he will be for sale. And last for this, um, like, lot is this Cocker Spaniel, who is in surprisingly really good condition compared to a lot of the other pets. Um, she does have a little rubber band on her, which is easily taken off, but yeah, she's really cute. And the package I've been waiting for the most is this um, one. Oh my god. I cannot wait. Um, surprise it all fit in here, but it is broken up a little bit, so I do that i do have to um fix this a little bit and get everything out and then i'll show you here is the first um set so it is a playground set ignore the paper in the box that's the box that came in i couldn't fit this on my other shelf twirls and stuff like that These are all actually really quite dirty and dusty. They're probably really old and stuff. Um, everything did come, I think, with like this uh, pieces that um, they originally came with. So that's really cool. So ignore the little um, paper. This is one of the smaller sets that came with it. Uh, it's kind of one of these jumpy frog things, but yeah, super cool. Next one is this little doghouse. And, and neatly enough, um, I didn't see this in the original listening, so I'm not sure if she just added it and found it, but it's this really cute, um, little LPS original storage bag. Next is this little jungle gem. And I didn't show these guys. This. Um, these are attached to the houses, or went with them, but yeah. And we have a bunch of McDonald's LPS, like, holders. This one, too. A few of the other, a little bit weirder accessories. I think this is another McDonald's holder. I'm not sure. I do have a few of those. This, I think, goes with the playground. And I am not sure what these two go with, but that's a Squinkies thing. So I'm guessing this might be Squinkies too. So I didn't show this with um, the playground, but this is that little cart that kind of goes under it. But yeah, it's pretty cute. So for this lot, I got a bunch of McDonald's pets. Um, they just were kind of like extra to me. All of these and finally the last three McDonald's pets are these guys Woo. all right so now onto the accessories I I got this hammock this um, cage I think And 
this really heavy disc, which I think goes with the plank. Two of his beds. And a few random items that I have no clue. This one's LPS is this one's LPS along with that one. Uh, I'm not sure about the other two. And this treasure chest. Now on to pets. I got two of these cool little uh, boxers. I got two owls, which. One was in the other um, lot. I'm not sure about this one. I can't remember if it is, but if it was, then pretty cool. I got this cute little caterpillar, which I'm so excited to have. And this little bear, which is I love. It's kind of cute. I got a uh, mole, I think. Turtle. And a mouse. a broken um golden retriever who is kind of flocked or um fleeced i guess um i call it flocked in the prior world but yeah it's pretty cool um would be neat to have it it, it did ted was trying to move the head and it broke off because it was super glued on so yeah next is this other chinchilla who is thankfully easily cleaned up because oh i love chinchilla so much this raccoon, who I absolutely adore. Again, super easy to clean up with that one. And everything in the back. This boxer puppy, who I absolutely, oh my god, he's just so cute. Oh, I'm so happy I have him. I love him. So, funny story with this guy. I have him. His head's broken. So, um, hopefully this one doesn't break. It's not, like, jiggly at all, and I'm not sure why, so... <sighs> yeah, but I'm not gonna try to mess with this one's head. This cat, who I do not have. This cat, who I do have and will be for sale. And the last pet that we have before we get into the main fives is a chihuahua. The first main five is this one. Oh my god, I've wanted this one for so long. Um, I have one. Mine's fake. This one's real. And just some easy cleanup will be put him in great condition this cocker spaniel is such good condition oh my gosh she's just i mean she's a little dirty but some soap and water should clean it up really quickly wow i'm so happy i own her i love this mold and this um color on her so much these are all the pets um yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more unboxings.